Today is an exciting day, and that's because within the last day or so, the Distant Horizons mod has been updated to officially support shaders using Iris. Now, I actually kind of want to try this thing out because, you know, it's, it looks really cool. It, it reminds me of, you know, those games like Far Cry 4 and all that. I don't know, it could be any game, it could be also Skyrim, I guess. But it reminds me of those games. You know what I'm saying, but um, the only thing that is concerning me that is that I I am using a high-end system from 2014. When I mean 2014, it's I I have an E3 1270 V3 from 2014, which means um, it is an old one, a re like a really old one, and uh, the memory is good because it has 16 gigabytes. Until you see that it has DDR3, um, the 1650 Super, well. I I'd say it's better than the 980 Ti. Um, I'd say this is better because it has a modern um, what do you call this? A modern technology in it, like a GDDR6. But um, the only thing that draws back is the uh, I mean GPU memory. Now I really wanted to try this because I've only got this CPU for like a, from I don't know like a, a week ago I guess. It's, I bought it for like 1,000 pesos, and that is about 20 bucks, which is a really good deal. And uh, I thought that I need this CPU so that I can properly edit in um, Vegas Pro. But this doesn't mean that this high-end CPU from uh, 2014, it doesn't mean that it won't bottleneck this, you know, budget GPU. Like, from like five years ago, I guess. So... I'm going to download these mods and uh, I'll see you guys in uh, Minecraft. All right. Oh my God, why is it so foggy? Please work. I think it's working. Is it? I think this time towards it's not working, isn't it? Oh shit, it's working. Oh my God. Now what I'm gonna do is to find a mountain, I guess. Locate bio, what? biome i mean let's take a look at the utilizations here oh my god <laughs> i can feel it's already hot like really hot it really does okay so what i'm gonna do in order to oh my what just happened yeah, yeah i assume that must be the uh thing so what i'm gonna do is to disable shaders i'm gonna disable that real quick and make distance horizons uh I paid for the whole CPU. Now this may sound like an, a really bad idea, but screw this thing. <laughs> oh my god, this is this might have gone wrong like really, really long. Gosh, it's taking absolutely long. Now you see, this is literally the disadvantages of having, you know. Oh, look at the RAM. Look at the RAM. 14 gigabytes. I'm not sure if this is a memory leak, but it's actually not because I literally. Oh my god. I can see the freaking. Now what I want to do is probably try to use Elytra and probably just fly around. Now even with this, I, I still am slow, and the CPU is literally just running on only 3700. I mean, holy hell, it's working! I can literally see the jungle biome from here, you know. All that, and I'm literally just getting under 60 FPS. I'm pretty sure it's just such, um, stuttering because I have a 144Hz monitor and it sometimes feels like 144 it will sometimes even feel like 60 and all that. A few inches later. Yeah, let's try equipping the satyrs right now, so. It's time. Actually, I think we should lower the render distance to like 10, I guess. Uh, Alright, let's enable. And here we go. One winner later. Oh my god. That is so good. I think I might have set the cloud height way too low. But nonetheless, it still looks pretty damn good. I mean... It doesn't look exactly like from Asian Half Squad's, you know, video. Uh, but speaking of performance, it's, yeah, it's questionable. <laughs> it's all on 100%. GPU's at 90%, which is 
crazy. I mean, it feels like I mean, I'm I'm lucky that I'm not in a room right now because if it was, um, I think I would I would have been cooked. Because I'm in the living room. I think it's a really good idea to, <laughs> you know, put your beast in the living room if you're trying to test something out like this. Yeah, look at that cloud shadows. I've, from, from what I've heard, it's really good at sunset or sunrises. So uh, let's try time set zero. So that's literally, uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. They're not wrong. I mean, that is really good. What if I set my render distance to like 16? I wonder how bad it could get. Actually, I think I'm. I think it's a really bad idea to, to set this thing. I think this set it to balance. Actually, nonetheless, even if I change that setting, it's still at 100% all the time. Holy hell! I didn't. I didn't expect to run this thing really well. I mean, look at it. It's stable 30 FPS. I'm at 1440p on a budget CPU from 2019. All right. I mean, this is. This is totally worth it because I would usually get like 30 FPS on um, on complementary shaders, but this thing, however, it's really good. I mean, you can see all those things. I mean, it's oh wow! I can see the caves underneath. Jesus Christ! I think I'm still using the wrong version of Distant Horizons because I literally watch a YouTube tutorial on how to properly install one of these things I mean if you're just standing right here let's say on the ground you won't even notice it you will, I mean you will still notice it but just barely I mean just look at this thing it looks like a triple A game by now just look I think I'm on a cloud shadows yeah I'm definitely on a cloud shadow I mean, just look at the clouds are a lot what screenshot mode what, what, what does it look like on screen, Shama? Would it look better? Jesus Christ! That disables the entire anti-aliasing, or it makes the anti-aliasing look weird. We can see those jag edges everywhere, like... It's fucking everywhere. I mean, it's meant for screenshot mode. But, uh, yeah. On a 1650 Super budget. And then a 10-year-old CPU. It's pretty worth it. I mean, if I could, uh, wait, I think I could lower down my resolution here. Back to like, uh, 4, I mean, 1080p. I don't think you can. Well, I mean, that would really suck if I can't lower my resolution to 1080p. I think I can't. <laughs> Bruh. I mean, just look, I'm, I'm also recording as well. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna end this video here right away. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.